hello and welcome to this breathwork and gentle yoga class. Come to a comfortable seated position on your mat. Root down in through your sit bones. Roll your shoulders back so that you have a nice straight spine. Lower or close the eyes. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And exhale out the mouth. And ground down here for a moment. Noticing what you feel today, if it's different or the same. Notice your body, any tightness you might be feeling, heat or coolness. Notice your breath. Whether it's slow and relaxed, or rapid and fast, it doesn't matter. We're just noticing how we're showing up. We're checking in with ourselves. And on your next inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands to prayer and heart center. Take a moment here to think about what your intention is for today. What do you need to remind yourself of? Not just for this class, but throughout the day. What do you need to hear most from yourself? Release. On your next inhale, bring your right hand to your left thigh, left hand behind you for a gentle twist. Nice straight spine, rolling left shoulder back. And then come to the other side. And back to center. We're going to do a seated cat cow here. So you can remain where you are in easy pose. Bring your hands to the top of your knees. And then we're going to inhale, lift the chest up as we pull the shoulders back. I'll just turn to the side so that you can see me. So we're gonna lift the chest and roll the shoulders back, creating just a slight back bend. And then we're gonna exhale, tuck the chin to the chest as we round the spine. Inhale into that gentle back bend. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale. Lift the chest forward. Exhale. Round. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. And then come to center with a neutral spine. Now, if you're not already in easy pose with your legs crossed in front of you, Come into easy pose with one of the legs on top of the other. It doesn't matter which side you start with. We're going to walk our hands forward and come until we start to feel a stretch in the outer hip area. My left leg is on top, so I'm feeling it in my outer left hip. You can keep your hands on the mat. It can be helpful to have a block here. Some of you may feel comfortable walking all the way down to your forearms or even bringing your forehead to the mat. You're not going for depth here. There's no winning for going the deepest. It's really just about listening to your body and going to the point where you start to feel a stretch, maybe in the lower back, maybe in the outer hip. And then holding this pose, maybe releasing your neck down, start to take slow and steady breaths. Inhaling for a count of four. And exhaling for a count of four. Inhale. And exhale. 
and continue this way for another breath or two. And on your next inhale, I want you to hold at the top of the inhale. And then exhale. And hold at the bottom of the exhale. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Hold. This is box breath. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Hold. One more breath this way. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Hold. Gently come out of the pose, walking your hands back, and then switch your legs. So if your left leg was on top, now we want your right leg on top. And we're going to walk forward again. And you might notice that this side is a little tighter, and you want to adjust your position for based, based off of what you feel. Maybe you find this pose, uh, this side is much more flexible and you can come further down. Again, it's not so important the depth of this pose. It doesn't matter if you go all the way down or if you're standing all the way up. What you want to do is you want to find that edge, that point where you feel slight changes happening, where you feel a slight challenge, a slight pull, a slight opening and then you maintain it. What you don't want to do is push yourself to the point where it's painful or it feels like it's going to be too much because if it feels that way now it probably is. All right, release the neck. Inhale. Exhale. And just take another breath this way. Inhale. Exhale. And then start your box breath. Inhaling for a count of four. Hold. Exhale for a count of four. Hold at the bottom. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Hold. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Hold one more time. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Hold. Walk your hands back up and come to seated position. Now, we're going to move into the center of our mats. And we're going to extend our legs out into a dragonfly variation. And you might remember this energetic breath that we've done in some of our other classes. Again, your legs don't have to be all the way out to the side. Wherever they are for you is absolutely perfect. If your feet are off your mat, you can always place a towel or a pillow underneath them so that your heel isn't on the hard floor. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale to your right side. Inhale, rise up. Exhale to your left side. Inhale to center. 
exhale to the right. Inhale, left, and just keep going this way at your own pace. Move with your own breath. Going as fast or as slow as works for you. Let's do one more time on each side. And then come back to pause. Release down. You're going to extend your right leg out and bend your left knee in. Now you can stay here and wrap your left hand around if that feels good. Or if it's accessible to you, you can bring your right, you can bring your opposite leg across your right leg. And then wrap the right hand around so that you come to a twist. From here, we're just going to do a little bit of that breath of fire, that energetic breath. So we're, it's going to be a rapid movement and if you remember, it's as if you're panting like a dog. So if you forget how to do it, you can start by sticking your tongue out and panting. For this exercise, we'll keep our mouth closed and breathe out of our nose. And you'll feel the inner wall of your core contracting as you go through this breath. Now, your pace can be slower than mine. It doesn't matter. But we're going to try to do this for at least a minute. So an extended period of time. And let's begin. If you need to take a break, you can at any time. Just start again when your break's over. almost done. On your next inhale, breathe in deeply. Suspend the breath at the top. And then exhale. Release for a moment. Release your legs. Just notice what you feel for a moment that energy is stirring inside of you. When you first start practicing Breath of Fire, it can feel really strange, and that's okay. The more you practice, the easier it'll get. The more you practice the rhythm, the easier that rhythm will become. Let's do the other side. Come into position. Find your twist. And let's begin. Keep going. Now 
We're almost to the end. On your next inhale, breathe in deeply, suspend the breath. And exhale. Release. Come down to your mat on your back with your knees bent. You can use two blocks for this. We're going to come into Baddha Konasana. So you're going to bring the bottoms of your feet to touch and let your knees come to the side. Now you can support your knees with two blocks. Your chest is open, shoulders are rolled underneath you, palms to the sky. If you really want to get cozy, you can take warm blocks or a pillow to support your thoracic spine and head and neck. Very restorative pose. I invite you to lower or close your eyes. And I'm going to introduce you to four, seven, eight breath. So just breathe naturally for a moment as I explain this breath. In four, seven, eight breath, you're inhaling for a count of four. You're suspending the breath for a count of seven, and you're exhaling for a count of eight. Now, at first, that may seem extreme. It can feel difficult to hold the breath and exhale for that long, because often the emphasis is put on the inhale, right? A lot of times we hear this, <sighs> right? So. The inhale is the, the lengthy part of the breath. However, in yoga and in modern day science, they're finding that the longer you're able to suspend and uh, suspend the exhale, um, the more physical benefits that you actually reap from that. So it has a very calming effect on the central nervous system, helps to stimulate the uh, serotonin and dopamine hormones in our body. So we'll give it a try. And the first few rounds, we're just going to start with a 444 breath, and then we'll work up to the 478. Inhale for a count of four. Hold for a count of four. Exhale for a count of four. Inhale for a count of four. Hold for a count of five. Exhale for a count of five. Inhale for a count of four. Hold for a count of five. Exhale for a count of five. Inhale for a count of four. Hold for a count of six. Exhale for a count of six. Inhale for a count of four. Hold for a count of six. Exhale for a count of six. Inhale for a count of four. Hold for a count of seven. Exhale for a count of seven. Inhale for four. Hold for seven. Long, slow exhale for eight.
inhale for four. Hold for seven. Exhale for eight. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Return to your normal breath. You can stay in Baddha Konasana or remove your blocks for a final Savasana. And just let your breath return to normal. You might notice that it's slower, more relaxed when you, than when you first joined. Notice what you feel in your body. The changes in the physical parts of your body and the changes in the mental parts of your body. When you're ready, slowly make your way to a comfortable seated position. And we'll finish with one breath together. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky, fill up. And exhale, hands to prayer and heart center. Take a moment to show gratitude. Thank yourself for doing something good for your body and your mind. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time.